Good thing I just put my headphones on. Why did the music just stop? Hello? Do y'all still hear it? No, it is. It has ended. Okay, that's uh, that's weird. Whatever. I guess it, that, that means I gotta start the stream. <laughs> what? Why would it just stop like that? <gasps> Wait, are my headphones not working? Nope, I hear it. That was weird. All right, I shouldn't have to change anything on my end. Hi, hi everybody. I know I look like I got my jam jams on. I took a shower at the gym and I got home and I was just like, listen, I'm not about to get cute for sure. Not. But chapel will be cute for y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Jam Jams for Gam Gams. Oh my God, I can't wait to see what happens with Gam Gam. Hello. Oh, thanks, Izzy. <laughs> you said shish. <laughs> um, how's everybody doing? Let me turn. I guess, yeah, I'll turn it. Actually, I don't think it's too loud. No, I think I'm okay. I put my bonnet back on. <laughs> I was just like, you know, this just, it, it fits. It fits. So. I know, right, Chamba? You did? You thought about this game all last night? It's like waiting for a new episode once a week. Yeah, I. so I was thinking of doing, um, what is it? The, the other game I said I was going to play, the rhythm one. I was like, oh, we'll just pick this back up next week. No, no. I was like, I want to know what happens ASAP. And so, yeah. Yes, I'm invested. We in here. All right, cool, 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 cool. I need y'all to twerk on that like button if you have not already. And I'm not really gonna do too much chit chatting. I wanna jump back into this because it's getting pretty juicy. I wanna know more about the dad. I wanna know more about what grandma got going on. I really still think that she murdered her husband. I, I don't know. Why is your tummy hurting? Why your tum tum hurting? Is it stress? Are you stressed out about how the game is gonna end? I hope, I mean. Listen, I don't, tummy, tummy aches, they suck. So I'm hoping that's the case. Oh, I almost, something wrong, hold on. Yeah, all right, shut this music up. Shut it up. All right, let's start this. I'm just very excited to get it going. I need Gam Gam's tea. Did she murder the husband? Did she have kids with the other dude? R okay, so question. Question. Does she have kids with the first dude first and then married Leo and then realized he was violent and then murdered him and then set it up like she was going to go back to the other guy because now they're like oh no the the Pierre dude is the real dad I don't know I'm I'm a little confused hopefully they ex explain that a little bit better Throws it in a circle. Yeah, yeah. Who's not liking the, the video? Who's not? Get out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, you said I might be hungry. This emote is interesting. You said one of dudes was uh, besties. <gasps> now, Kenya. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. I feel like she did, or she cheated on Leo with that man and had kids, but passed them off as Leo's. <gasps> That's also a possibility. All right, enough talk about it. Let's go. Start it up. Um, I almost hit start, so continue. Please leave us where we left off. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Um. So, here we are. Um, okay, so it says here, mom wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. We already saw that. Oh, okay. Wait, is this not crossed off because I didn't finish packing? Okay, this is the one that we're on. So it says, I knew I shouldn't have brought my backpack on this trip. Now, mom expected to do my homework. Well, I guess there's not much else to do. 
cooped up in this motel. Okay. So close that. Now we got it. We got a long stream ahead of us. Please remind me at 8 o'clock to make a little snacky snack before um, I move any... Like, ah, sorry, before I move forward. Also, this, I need... Where's your toy at? Because you're pawing me and I already walked you. Okay, hold on. I know we just started. I know we just started. Give me one second. Let me get his toy. And then he will leave me alone. <laughs> one second. I know exactly where it is. I got his toy. It's a pizza. It's a pizza. Uh, we've already started chewing it, so it's only a matter of time before I have to take that away from you. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I got the guy pulled up. Appreciate you. Trying to make sure all these dogs are good. Okay. All right. Everybody settled. It's time to stop. Now the AC is being loud. I'm not getting back up. I'm not. We're in it. We're in it. So we have to do our homework. So let's do that. Okay. Wait, hey. I could have clicked. Oh, I could have clicked time. on my phone. How's that homework coming along? Dang. Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price yeah, you pay for convenience. Here Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Oh, I almost tripped. Guess where and I died. am? <laughs> At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. Okay, who is she talking to? We visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? I guess she's talking to August. Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. Oh, she's talking about. Okay, okay. This burger is my rival, and I will defeat it. That was unnecessary. I didn't need to read that. Uh. Why do I have to do this, Joe? Really? Okay. All right. Great. Good job. Proud of you. Let's look at our phone. Check text. Oh, we can eavesdrop. Oh, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Tesla Bear. Hope you had a good day. Busy with some work late tonight, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Tell Franz, text Francine. Te put back phone. To Who is Francine? Oh, it's the friend. I don't care about that. Um, uh, put, put the phone back. Go, go, eavesdrop, eavesdrop. I can't run. What? I don't care about this. Notify the blah blah blah. Be aware. Da, da, da. Be sure. Da, da. Got it. There should be an option to eavesdrop. Are you joking? Hi, Tin. I'm so sad. Frick, man. Oh. Rude. Very rude. And I can't look at the phone. I was going to text Francine. This game is losing brownie points. Because now all I can do is freaking... That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Can we order something? I mean, sorry. This is a motel. That sucks. What does this say? Read it. Read it. Improve word of mouth. What t-shirts post... That ain't got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. Oh, how lovely. Dirt flavored water. No thanks. <laughs> Dirt flavored water. Caffeinated mountain grown. Okay. 
Maybe if I get... I'm about to turn up. Oh, it... <sighs> this sucks. Like, I can kind of hear it, but it's very faint. How we got eight sets of eyeballs, but six likes. <laughs> we got, I, listen, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Hate that. Uh, might as well just finish the homework. There's literally nothing else to do. Wait. What was the point of me picking up the guitar? Okay. Ooh, stuff. Ooh, a visitor's guide. Oh. Um. Hmm. What? What's wrong with it? Where traditional and excellence meets. Uh. Okay. No, eavesdropping and we're doing algebra? I know. Ooh, that reminds me. Let me switch to top chat. I mean, to live chat. Yeah, live chat. And then... I gotta figure out how to turn this up in my ears. It is not... There we go. I was like, I can't hear that then. Sucks. This sucks. This sucks. I want to eavesdrop. The TV don't even work. I spit. I got excited. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. There's nothing in here. Go oh, and do your freaking algebra. Boring. Do you think? Hi, John. Dad and. Oh. Yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke, back in a few. All right, whatever, Mom. Whatever. Oh, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I think it's pretty exciting. I think it's pretty depressing. I don't know what to think. This is exciting. I think it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's a bigger deal for you and mom. I just think, I don't know. It's Thanks just kind of- ten. Same to you. It's like seeing a whole new side of grandma now that she's gone. Yeah, I was still pretty young when our dad died. So I think it's a lot harder on your mom than on me. Really I sound effects. really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. That's cool. I forgot I can't about get over him. That. I cannot get over that. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, John. I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. My shade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must I have been hard. Why yeah. would you call him nice? What about the house? What was it like? It, uh, it was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. Right. We found the I tape to your exorcism, by the way. Just move out there. <laughs> Hi, Jaja. Move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere. Than in Chicago? What's in what? Chicago? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? Oh! No. What about mom? Can can she stay with you? Of course, both of you. But she doesn't want to. What? Do what? You she... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Mom is pissing me what? off. Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. Love you too, Anna. Mom is pissing me off. Her whole mentality of like, oh, I can't depend on anybody because they always leave. Your sister is rich. <laughs> and she said, come live with me. Come live with me. You ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm going to take care of y'all. 
And mom's like, we'll figure it out. Ma'am, you work at a, <laughs> you work at a local theater that you already said is tanking. What? 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 And then daddy over here is probably uh, slinging drugs. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Your sister is literally trying to help and you're like, no. Right. It doesn't make any sense. Nightshade? She likes, not she likes brothers. It, that's not what Nightshade means. <laughs> that's not what Nightshade means. Um. Okay. So what now? Go to bed? This is boring. Okay, no. Go here. Uh, okay. He gonna keep showing me this Bible, huh? Uh. Yep, that's a Bible. Put it down. All right. Nothing. Nothing. Y'all just not gonna let me open. Okay. Nothing. Go to bed. I'm bored. Go to bed. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so well, it's so grayscale. She forgot her line, and of course she did because she only got off book a few days before, and he's just staring at her. Uh huh. And Todd <laughs> needs her to say it, otherwise the uh -huh. whole scene makes no sense, I and love. it's dead quiet. It's opening night, and so then she just says, "Who are you, the pirate of Penzance?" Tess, what? Are you even listening to what Girl, I'm saying? Girl, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. Ah! That's not if what I was- you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. This drive is so freaking boring, I wonder what's going on with Dad and Francine. Oh, 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 okay. Get your phone. Get- Wait, where's my cell phone? Oh, Did I leave it in my backpack? Girl. Girl. <laughs> Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. <sighs> Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. Girl, how do you leave your cell phone? We have to go back. We have to go back and get it. I need my phone. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. That's you don't wild. Understand. I... Phones are expensive. We turn in this baby back. We've been driving for an hour. Turn this car around. Turn this car around right now and give me my flip phone. My razor. All right. <laughs> I need it now. It might be gone if we don't get back for it. Francine is going to be worried about me. I just need it. I mean, it was 2003. It was probably a cheap little Nokia, but still. Yeah, I said Razor, but yeah, you're probably right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My mom would have turned around. It might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get You your... know, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you, oh. you were lying to me. And I was so distracted. Oh, uh, uh oh. And now, and now you won't even go back. And hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you. When was I lying to you? Oh, you didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> oh. Why would you just lie to me and say oh, August hi, was unwilling welcome. to help us? I didn't. I didn't lie. I. She, she doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house. And when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. Let's unpack. Oops. Let's unpack that for a second. What? That's 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 so greedy. That's so greedy. That's that's greedy. That's greedy. That's greedy. Because why would you? You all of a sudden want to be like. I'm sorry, I'm so upset right now. I'm upset! 
You don't want anybody anybody's help. You're saying she doesn't want to help, but your sister is like, hey, you could stay with me in my home if you'd like. Instead, you're like, no, buy it for me. You gonna pay me back with your little theater money, huh? No, you're not. It's been a year since I was last in here. Oh, wow, that's a long time. Welcome back. She's offering you a home with her bro shut up. Right, I, I don't understand that. You said nightshade is a poisonous plant, I think. I thought it was like a, a spirit, probably. Cause I remember playing a horror game and they had like that as an option. You said, are you kidding me, Miss Girl? I'm upset, right? She's pissing me off. <laughs> she wanna be picky and choosy. Girl, my God, it's giving prideful. Right, it really is. Let me slap the money. B. <laughs> Nightshade is a flower. Yes, it's also called Belladonna. Oh. Oh, okay. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't going to sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Girl. What? Hold on. <coughs> Dan! Oh my god, Dan! Oh, thank you so much. Wow! Wow! Dan, thank you for the $10. I appreciate you. Oh, that's such a cute... Um, I don't even know what to call that. It's a super chat, but like... What is that? It's a little hippo. Is that hippo? Oh, it's so cute. Thank you so much, Dan. Appreciate you. They got gifts now. Look at YouTube coming up. Coming up. Oop. What's happening? What's happening? Things are happening on my phone. I don't know what's happening. I have to check that in a second. But yeah, welcome. You said help is help, not that help you not the help that you want specifically miss mom <laughs> miss mom yeah i agree how are you familiar i'm good i'm good uh we are trying to get back into our indie bag because um i hit um a certain rank in tekken so now i just have to catch up on editing those videos and putting them over here and now we're streaming some indies because there's some indies out that i really wanted to um i wanted to play for y'all so here's one of them and she pissing me off already. Y'all know I love a good story. I love a good story, right, Chapa? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, Night Shade is actually a family of plants. Not all of them are poisonous. Tomatoes and eggplants, for example, are a Night Shade family. Really? I'm learning so much. And I love how smart all of you are. <laughs> because I always learn something new. I did not know that. What? That reminds me, I was supposed to go to the store and get tomatoes. Damn. I'm trying to be a healthy beach. I'm trying to eat veggies and fruits and stuff. I mean, I already do that, but I don't do it as much, but I'm branching out. I'm like, I'm tired of my usual stuff. And I'm like, ooh, let's get tomatoes. Knowing damn well I don't like tomatoes unless they're like <laughs> in a sauce. Or unless it's a burrito bowl. I'm trying to make burrito bowls at home now. Brussels sprouts! <laughs> no, I'm not eating that. Lion's mane mushrooms. Okay, now you're just putting words together. <laughs> he said, I'm making little pizza pockets DIY style. Ooh. Hi, Raven. Raven, you just came in. There's still drama happening. Um basically we found out that the mom is holding secrets she got um an offer from her sister who is rich who was like hey you should stay with me at my house you don't have to worry about nothing i'll take care of y'all mom is over here we are she already exposed herself last time saying hey i need therapy <laughs> hey i need therapy um because i don't trust anybody and everybody leaves me right so so that's the mom, the aunt, was just like, hey, come stay with me. And mom was just like, mm, no, 
you should buy this house for me though because you know you're rich that's helping me having me stay in your house is not helping me what that's so selfish i can't even imagine saying that to somebody that's wow wow some people are so entitled heal heal yourself Lion's mane mushroom is a real thing. Oh, <laughs> it is? Oh. Because I wish I had the mom's audacity. Right! Some people just have so much audacity. Pass it around. You don't need that much. <laughs> you said get sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, they're tasty to cook with. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Do you have any recipes in mind that you would recommend? You know, y'all, for the Nom Noms channel in the Discord, if you want to just put little recipes in there, like links to stuff that you might want to try, I think I'm going to start doing that too. Because there's so many recipes that I come across and I just like, I save them on TikTok and then I just don't do them, you know? He said, Lion's Mane mushrooms are healthy and good for you, child. Look them up when you can. They are very good for cognitive function. Quick little Google. What is it? Lion's mane mushroom. Oh. 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 I've never seen these before. Wow, they even have them in like gummies. They have them in powder. Wait, what? Mika! I just got a text from you. Hold on, wait. Okay, hold on. Herbal. They even got lion's mane, mushroom, liquid extract. What they got? What's going on? What do these do? Lion's mane mushroom have been used in traditional medicine for centuries. Okay, but what y'all be doing? Have a flavor. Okay, I don't care about the flavor. I'm trying to see what the benefit. There it is. Okay. Lab and animal studies suggest this traditional medicine may help with many conditions, but there's limited research in humans and no product made from the mushrooms have been approved for the treatment of any condition. Y'all say that about a lot of stuff. Y'all say that about a lot of stuff. And then guess what? That stuff be working better than, than the doctor. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Still go to the doctor if you, if you can. Um, let me see. Fighting inflammation and fl free radicals. Does anybody know what a free radical is? I don't understand that. I, I've been reading up on certain herbs and stuff, and they be saying free radicals, and I'm like, what? why are they radical? And, and who let them out? Like, what, is that, what does that mean? <laughs> he said, there's a company that has made coffee. Okay, I've heard of mushroom coffee. I have. Oh, you said maybe make a thread in the nom nom section specifically for recipes. Ooh, I should do that. All right. Oh, you can put the lion's mane mushrooms on a plancha. What's a plancha? And turn it into a steak substitute. Oh. Okay. 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 Ooh, fighting dementia and other brain diseases. Sorry, I burped. Hello? Okay, my phone froze. My phone froze. Help. I took my phone in the sauna yesterday and my phone went black and then it had a pop-up and it was just like, we are overheating, so please shut down. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you couldn't bring your phone in the sauna. There's people that be doing it. So I thought I could too, to be cool. This picture is so cute. What is this gift? What? <laughs> Not Mika texting me saying, I'm in my bed, but lion's mane mushies is good for your brain. <laughs> oh, God. Trevor, no. What? <laughs> I only know free radicals from chemistry. <laughs> right? Like, I don't I don't know what that is. I didn't know you couldn't bring your, your phone in the sauna. Nobody, there's no sign. Nobody told me that. There'd be people in there jamming on their music. In the sauce, <laughs> it's funny. Okay, it deals with an unpaired valence electron, so they are a bit more unstable. Uh, yeah, that told me nothing. <laughs> that told me nothing. Ah, let me see. Oh, 
okay. <laughs> I see what you, you sent me, Mika. This gift is so cute. What is this gift called? What is this gift called? I need it. I need it everywhere. This gift is cute. All right. Ooh, ooh, focus, focus. Okay. <laughs> it's you texting me instead of being in the chat. He said, I don't know what it's called. Okay, okay, okay. All right. That is so cute. It's if you search heart eyes. All right, back to the game. We got a lot going on. All right, so um, if you and dad were still together, where do you think we'd be right now? Don't ask that. Why are you so disinterested in my business? Huh? Why don't you like August? Let's do that. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You, you always don't? act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself, especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do well, all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. Oh. You've never lived with her, Tess. Oh. It's not going to be like your little vacation. Oh. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Oh! Wow. I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think oh. you're the only person with problems and the rest of- That sentence right there would have got me slapped across the face. Are you joking? What? 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 Dang. Of us are just running around doing whatever? You're oh. exhausting. No wonder dad left. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad? Actually talk about dad for once. The divorce. The... I don't want to have this discussion right now. You never want to have discussions. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? Uh, uh, when uh. I see dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business. I'm going. From your and... business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? What? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. Georgia. The mm -hmm. divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Uh, Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected oh. me to say, Oh, sure, honey, feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. Oh! What? what kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh, woo! So sure, go to Nevada. Ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Ooh! This is a dysfunctional family. Oh no, girl. Woo! These, yes, these conversations indeed cause car accidents. Luckily, ain't nobody else on the road. Wow. Oh, I wasn't done. No, I didn't even get to read that. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. What's wrong with the I'm car? I'm to figure it out. What happened to the car? I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before Whose house I is this? My mind. Agreed. She got a mouth on her chair. My mom didn't even believe in, in, in whoopings, but the way my mom would have had some words with the back of her hand for me. Anyway, let's read this. Okay, well, looks like we finally made it to the houseboat we saw in the picture. Most likely owned by the mystery man, AKA Pierre 
Latrec? What's his name? Whatever. <laughs> oh, no. Whatever we find here better be worth it. Why do I have a feeling that y'all are never going to speak again after this trip? How do I... Oh. Jeez, liquid assets. Right. Hey. That. Prepare for major weather. He's probably not here anymore. Um. Okay. I def think they're both right in some cases and both wrong in others. Yes, I agree. Um, I feel like my mom definitely felt like that when I was a teenager. And I was always like kind of sticking up for my dad because my mom would say some, she would say some nasty stuff like under her breath about my dad, right? And I'm just like, where is this coming from? You know what I'm saying, right? And I'd be like, no, my dad's this, this isn't that. And she'd be like, oh, well, this is what really happened type stuff, right? And then like, that is kind of the dynamic when it comes to moms and dads. Um, where like the dad is like the fun parent, not in all cases, of course, but it's like kind of a stereotype in a way, like that the dad gets to be the fun parent and the mom has to be like, oh, business, business, serious, blah, 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 this is that. That's kind of how it was for my parents when I was growing up. And I have a few friends that are, that also had that same issue or it was flipped, but either way, there's always gonna be one parent that's just like, I'm the fun, you know, laid back, lax one. And then the other one's just like super duper strict. Is that ew! Blood? Ew. ew! Ew, ew, Why on earth did I just touch that? Girl, because you're nosy, that's why. You know? Yeah, my mom told me my dad was actually slinging drugs. <laughs> drugs. And that's why she left him, but she made it seem like heavy, hard drugs. And it was weak. Oh, dang. <laughs> But yeah. But yeah, it's. I know my mom would definitely agree with like how she was just saying like I have to be like the tough parent. <gasps> Pierre, oh, it's loud outside. Pierre was here. Get it together. Looks like we're on the right track. Can I read any of this? Who is being loud outside? Please shut up. Pick up this bottle. Okay. Fishing lures that I can't even touch because, okay. A bathroom. He wanted y'all to live in this? No. This is, this isn't right. What do I do? What do I do now? I can't go that way, right? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Wait, no. Hey, mom. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. Okay, we want to get across to the boat, but if we try to jump that gap, we'll break our shin bones. Maybe there's something around here that we can get across. This, maybe? Uh, do y'all see anything? Just another part of another canoe. Is that a canoe? Or is that, yeah, that, that would be a canoe. Uh... Why is that through the window? I'm not gonna lie, this motion blur, not even motion blur, but like, I don't know, it's hurting my eyes. Um, I don't know. This maybe? I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt that. Oh, hi TJ, welcome in. We're playing indie stuff. I'm taking a break from, from Tekken uploads, even though y'all have been showing a lot of love to that. So thank you, thank you. Um, but I'm getting back to my roots. Oh, there it is. I'm getting back to my roots, my, my indie game roots. It's this, smooth plank. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. Okay. We need to go back home. But we, what if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or 
if the floorboards are all rotted or... I mean, she's or, making points. These are valid we're points. we're already here. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The Girl! The mobile home was fine. I, I just think, if we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. Okay. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far Ooh. together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. And yet y'all be telling people Edgy to have tales. kids? I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be in hell for nine months just to pop out an inconsiderate little thing like this. I, I, I can't. I won't. Heads. Come on. Heads or tails? It don't take that long. I won! Just be careful and stay away from the edge. Yes, ma'am. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! See, what was the point of telling me stay off the edge if I couldn't even get... Okay. Y'all know I had to test it. Oh, it's... It's creepy in here now. If somebody lunges at me, I'm turning the game off. Oh! Oh! Wow. Cool. Just chaotic. Tess, don't touch that! Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh. You don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like... <sighs> No, Never tell mind. her since she want to touch everything. It was fringe jackets, the winter campus fashions in 1968. Right. And patterned tights. But really, put that down. Put that down. Oh my god. Since you want to sit here and touch everything, let her touch it. <laughs> okay, don't don't do that. Don't let your kid touch that. Can I jump? I can't jump. These are such grandma ass bed sheets. Ooh, pick that up. Oh. Is this their grandma? Wow. This is from when grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Yes, Tim, um, I agree. Maybe you were just imagining things? More. Oh. You mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. Grandma lived a long, full life. Good for her. Grandma was that girl. That's why that man was like, come, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and get everything settled over here. Don't worry about your, your, your husband. I got it. I just need you. Do you see her? Back in the day, she was killing it. Ooh, a love letter. Read it. Read it. Uh, what'd you say? That's interesting, since your daddy might... Right, since your daddy might not be your daddy. Uh, there was some long... There was some long, and she was full, all right. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, let me read this. Um, I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. Uh, a houseboat. It's a romantic thought living right on the water. But don't you suppose it might be a, l a bit small for both of us and two children? Wait. Two children, including a teen. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought there was a, a, a son or a daughter that was missing. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? We are still here, waiting on the heat to die down. She killed that man. While I'm excited to start our new life afresh, I have begun to rack up worries. How will the children react with all they've already been through? What do you suppose my parents will think and us just disappearing? My poor mother, she's already lost the son-in-law. Won't people come looking for us? Dude, she killed him. 
Are you sure there's no other way, Helen? What? A letter from Grandma. Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where we were really rich? Let's just say that. And you could fix up the Andromeda and make every play there amazing? Tess. And we could keep Grandma's house and make it all perfect, like better than it's ever been? There's no way to that reality from here. Okay, well, negative Nancy. Child, let me dream. God, Lee. What? Uh, like, okay. Anyway. Grandma killed him. I'm sorry. <laughs> grandma, you cannot convince me that Grandma ain't kill him. She, because she even said that he died of a heart attack suddenly. It's locked. This must be where the money is. <sighs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, this we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? Yes! I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. Kick it in. How sturdy can it be? Kick it in. <sighs> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. All right, Pierre's office. Whatever's in there could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course it's locked because nothing's ever easy. All right, well, we're going to keep moving. I hate how this is slanted. I hate that. Um, Good morning. That's cute. Uh, pick up this mug. Another one. Oh, ew. Girl, put that down. All right. Doesn't look like I'm going down that way. Pick up the cool. binoculars. Nobody to spy on, though. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! What does it say? What does it say? Uh, received from Mr. Pierre Lautrec. $3,000 in exchange for the houseboat. Oh, it's just his receipt. Okay. $3,000? For a houseboat? These Are you saying that's fight? a lot? Or a little? Uh, a These lot? These are like $1968, right? I mean, $3,000 then is probably like... I don't even know. I would say ten. Ten thousand dollars Yeah, probably around that. Maybe even more. So, what else could you have bought for that much back then? A car? A nice car? Probably. Maybe. Yeah, so this crappy boat for the same amount you could buy, like, a sports car with? Seems like a lot. Does. But you can live on a houseboat. You could live in a sports car if you don't have a very high standard of living. Yeah. Uh, much higher standard of living on this rotting houseboat. Grandma ran over Gam Gam. Gam Gam means grandma, doesn't it? I thought that's what we were. I thought that's what we were saying. <laughs> Hold Boy, on. What's this? Really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? Probably not. Dock. You know where you can't live? In a Toyota Corolla Beach. Call August tonight! <laughs> uh, it's true. You can't. Oh, God. There's nothing else to do over here. I can't go downstairs. I mean, honestly, if we're not a wuss, we could totally jump that, but looks like we're going to have to go out and around, right? Oh, yeah. So let's see if we can go this way. Okay. All right. Wow. Oh. Jump. Okay. We're descending. Hey, Mom. Just like Silent Hill, this looks like uh, Death Stranding to me. But Just we're gonna like say Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. What? Oh, it's it's this video game we <sighs> played at Francine's house. It's a horror game. She really likes that stuff. Seriously, Tess? You're thinking about video games right now? It's foggy in the game. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's foggy in the game. Oh. The hatch of secrets! But we oh, what's that? 
Oh, I thought that was like a little lamb toy. It's <laughs> Okay, wait. Can I open that? Yeah, what's in here? Oh, we're downstairs. Whoa! Whoa! Open that up! Why am I not allowed to look at anything? Pick up the letter. Read it. Please don't go on about the silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This affects all of us. You say we'll have everything we could ever hope for, but I'm not the one who decided to run off across the border and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's lives at the drop of the hat to follow, no matter how much money was involved. I hope for things that money can't buy, treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl, my relationship with my parents and my siblings, satisfying work where I get to help people, my children to grow up in the loving company of their grandparents and their friends. These are the things you ask me to give up and for what? Isolation? An unfamiliar place? A leaky boat? Money to spend on what? What does it matter if everything else is lost? Interesting. She had points. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah. Not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was <laughs> no thinking cap. about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh, no. It's already happening. Wow. Izzy, do you know French? Like, can you speak French? I feel like you probably told me this already, and I just asking it. Oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. T t oh, we can open this. <gasps> he got presents in here. Hello? Hello, I can't. Why can I not interact with the presents? Like, what is the point of the presents being there if I can't touch them? Like this? Is it just not working or? No, I just can't click that. Okay. Wow. This looks intense. What's the brushy thing for? Ah, uh, girl, I don't know. Put it down. Wow. But why did he want them to sail away? Like, did she or did she not kill this man, you know? Or did she hire him to kill the man, you know? Oh. Read this. Local and state police are looking for a group of thieves who made off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from claiming clother, clothiers, cl clothiers, cl clothiers. I've never seen that word before, but I'm, I know it's related to clothes. Um, he said, no, unfortunately not. I did take French until 10th grade, but it didn't stick. My dad's side is completely French. They all have conversations in mixed English and French when we visit. Oh, wow. I have very distinct memories of my grandma saying something about me to my dad in French. And then my dad responding in English because he doesn't like speaking French. And then I'm there like, <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I have a question. Why does he have this about Portin? Um, in the conversation here is money. Do you think that grandma was a bank robber or just a robber? She was a thief? And so was this guy? Because they said, I'm going to wait till the heat dies down. That's a possibility. She might have also been a thief with the, this guy. And then they got a lot of money. And he was like, I got to leave. I'm going to Canada. And she was like, let me wait till the heat dies down before I move to. I think she was into illegal activities. Not a bank robber. She was out doing a crime with a mystery man. 
bank. You're right. Okay, according to state police, the men broke into the store around 1.20 a.m. They dismantled the store safe, taking the money bag before fleeing. There were no witnesses. We're encouraging local businesses to deposit all cash to their banks at the end of each business day. Until the burglars have been apprehended, it's too risky to leave any money in the store overnight. Um, they have set an announcement tip line. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, R. And then, hey, mom. The burglary ring. Mom, grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Right. Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? Right. To keep him abreast of current events? Abreast? Oh, and... come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? It has to be that. Well, okay, they didn't rob anything. Thank you for the lurking. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Right, it And doesn't. it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? I actually didn't it's know that. It's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. Yeah, there were no witnesses. So how did how they know? know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. <laughs> Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are I'm you not seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Do you know Blue from Blue's Clues is actually a girl? Why not? She had two kids at home, and... So? So? I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Right. Excuse me? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. No, I mean, you know, maybe that's what she wanted me to think. I didn't know about Pierre, after all. Can I open it? Hey! I can't read that. Hold on. Is this like his, his banking? Hold on. Cash, traveler, travel supplies. Lunch postcards, supplies for the girls, craps game, groceries. Slow down, cash, cash, lunch with guys. Dang, so you can see up here, he was preparing for everything in August. And she didn't, well, yeah, two groceries. And then he was just getting stuff for the boat. And then after that, it was just cash, liquor, gambling, dude stuff, cash. Yeah, his life kind of went downhill after she realized, uh, after she wasn't going to come over there and live with him. Boy, he really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. Forty. Well, some of it was on this boat. Yeah, seems like he really loved it. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August living here? Maybe then she would have been a famous painter because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. Oh. For sure. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. Little Houseboat on the River? Rolls off the tongue. Now, why did I just get nauseous all of a sudden? Oh, I did eat something before I started, but ugh, I've been like addicted to little air fryer chicken that we got from Costco. I don't know. Last one tasted good. I just got nauseous out of nowhere. I'm Hydrate? Oh. I found out that you burn calories by going to the sauna. And my my gym has like a really nice sauna. They have like a wet sauna where it's just like a bunch of steam. And then they have a dry sauna with like the wood planks. 
And so I went in there today, and this is the longest I've ever lasted in there. I was there for 20 minutes. And I found out that there's like a lot of benefits for the sauna. I thought people just go in there because it feels good. No! There's like a bunch of stuff that like your body does when, you know, you're in the sauna. Excuse me. I never knew that. I really thought it was just like to help with like sore muscles. You know, like, yeah, you sweat, but, like, you're helping with sore muscles. And it's like, no, it's good for, like, inflammatory stuff. Uh, it's good for burning calories. It's also a good place for meditation. I was like, wow. So, like, I'm addicted. They did say you could do it every day. However, you do need to stay hydrated. And I drank a whole one of these already. And then right before stream, I just filled it back up to, like, right about here. Because I didn't feel like waiting for it to fill back up. I didn't even know you could do that. You could sweat out the alcohol. That makes sense. Because my ex one time, he came back from a cruise, right? And he, for like two days straight, he just smelled like alcohol. Like no matter how many times he took a shower, he every time he sweat, it just smelled like vodka. And I was just like, ew, like <laughs> what is happening? And I didn't know that. So, like, when you drink a lot, a lot, like, you, you start to smell like it. And I was just like, that's fucking gross. Yeah, you can filter it out of your body through your body pores. Makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. My mom used to say that um, her dad, my grandfather on that side, um, I didn't know him too well. But he used to just eat garlic straight up. Like, get a clove of garlic and just eat it. Instead of going to the doctor. Um, he didn't believe in, in doctors. So, like, if he was ever sick, he just took, like, a whole thing of garlic and just ate it. Like, raw. And he smelled like garlic. And I was just like, that is not something you want to smell like. Ew. Not Gwyneth Paltrow. Who, does she do that? <laughs> does she do that? Oh. So, yeah. Have y'all ever tried to eat garlic, like, just straight up without, like, cooking it? I can't even really, like, put garlic, a garlic clove close to my nose without me being like, oh, this is strong. <sighs> wait, Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, never mind. I was just like, wait, Gwyneth Paltrow is a woman. <laughs> and I was just like, wait a minute. Okay. I kind of don't like how there's certain things that they tell me that I can open and then there's no point in me opening it. Like this, that was pointless. That was pointless. I didn't like that. Uh, I can't, and then all of a sudden I can't open these. Like what? I did not mean to pick this up. Put that back. Overall, the story of this game definitely has me intrigued, but... It's losing me in some moments. Like some of the dialogue moves a little slower than I would like it to wait. I can I can oh okay. Uh some things move a lot slower. The disrespect this girl be having for her mom be pissing me off. Like it's little stuff. And whoever said this game takes three hours to finish, you are a liar and your breath stinks. Like garlic probably. Hi, King's Dream. Hello, welcome in. You said no. Why would I do that? I was just talking about how my grandfather on my mom's side used to do that. He would literally like take just raw garlic, just raw garlic, and just eat it whenever he felt sick. Like if there was a cold or anything, he was just like, "Yeah, let me just eat this whole thing of garlic real quick," and he ate it so much. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. To where he would just smell like garlic on the regular basis, and it's really bad. I met him a couple of times when I was a kid. I don't remember him smelling like garlic, but he also did not smell good, if that makes sense. Wow. That is a lot to spend on whiskey. <laughs> $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. 
Yikes. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. Wait, what happened? Like, did she did an interview with this with the guy? Was like, what do you have for breakfast? And she verbatim said, I love an IV. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. What does it say? Uh, well, she already told us what it was. We all right, so we have a key, and then the door upstairs is the one that's locked. So we got everything now, right? I went that way. We went in there. What's this? Okay. Hype. Yeah, we're leaving. We're getting out. But yeah, I agree. There are some things, dialogue-wise, that I'm like, we don't need to know this, <laughs> you know? I'm just like, why are you telling me this information that I simply do not care about? All right, cool, we're in, we're in, we're in, yeah! But otherwise, the art style, the the play of it, you know, it's just kind of like a, a, a walk and click adventure game. So far, so good. I do wish that they maybe added like some mini games, you know? Like maybe if a door was locked and we found the key, there could be like a little mini game on how to unlock the door. That would be cool. Oh, 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 oh! Okay. I want to read it first before okay <clears throat> all right so this is a letter that he got from our grandmother so this is Helen I've received your latest letter this is my final response you say you did all this for me but you didn't everything you've done you did for yourself you were the one who was unsatisfied with our home our income and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless illegal means. Yep. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along. I'm not following along anymore. You say these are your kid, your kids too. Of course they are. But they're my children as well. So this was her dad. I'm here with them every day, conf comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father, trying my very hardest to keep up the ruse. But I'm getting used to it, used to doing this on my own, used to speaking for myself, to living this new life. I'm regaining my footing. I'm starting to feel okay. I'm so confused in the timeline of this. So she ha so they're his kids. You're back? You're back? Bro, wait, I got a theory. No, an ad. Okay, I'm back. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so what I just read was Grandma Helen telling him you were selfish for running out to Canada. I'm the one that's really out here for my kids. I'm, you know, yes, they're your kids too, but they are also my kids and I'm doing the work. You're the one that ran off and then you expect me to follow and I'm not following you anymore. So my theory is she had the kids with him first when they were babies, right? And then... And then, shit, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, she had the, she, they're his kids, right? She had the kids with him first. That is their dad. But he ran off because of a burglary gone wrong. And so then, as she's getting, you know, as they're living and stuff, she's dating somebody else. She gets married to somebody else. That's where Grandpa Leo comes in, Right? But then he dies of a heart attack. Nobody killed him. He just died of a heart attack. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, this... I don't know. Okay, let me read your theory. I see it. You said, okay, I think Gam Gam and Pierre were together. She had kids with him. Then he decided to rob a bank. She got pissed and left. And then married Leo when they were young and said he was their dad. 
I think that's what happened too. Yes, we have the same theory. Okay, we have the same theory. Whoa. <sighs> this blank stare, so I guess that's it. So I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre, she realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? No, not at all. No, not at all. It was her chance to have her own independence. And who would want to give up their whole life, everything they know, just for some guy and some money? <sighs> People have done worse for less. Yeah, but Grandma had a pretty good life, didn't she? Her advice column, her art, her kids, her house. Maybe she just needed a little time to herself to realize how good she had it. Okay. Oh, <sighs> you said, what if he moved back and changed his name? I don't think that happened. There's nothing supporting that. Unless you're saying as he got older, he came back, changed his name, but never made contact again. That's also a possibility. You know what? You're probably that 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 could be it. But then again, he turned into a drunk. He didn't really want to do anything but sulk. Bisky, stop. That hurts. He's pawing me. Bisky, put your paw down. Put it down. Put it down. Thank you. That hurts. He's like scraping my leg. Okay. Um, flip this over. <gasps> There's more. There's more. Okay. Okay. You'll say. You'll say. You say you'll do whatever it takes to make me happy. That you'll give me everything I've always deserved to have. I don't know how else to tell you this, but I think you already have. All I want now is to be left alone, free to lead this new life by my own means. Do not contact me or the children again. This is over for all of us. I think we were happy once. I hope you find happiness again. This could come in handy. Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, didn't we see some mailboxes up by the gate where we came in? You know what? I'm not going to lie, though. This is also kind of sad because you took his kids away. You took his kids away. But then again, he put it on himself because he didn't communicate like, hey, I'm going to go buy a boat and, and live somewhere else. This is just overall sad because you could tell that he, he wanted... He, he wanted to be a dad, but he made a stupid decision. I don't know. Hi, welcome. Welcome back. You said, oh, and then her and Pierre reconnected later when Opal and August were older and she was going to go back to him and then decided F that because he hasn't changed. Right, because they did say that earlier. Because then that's when he was just like, you know, your husband died. Oh, dang. Well, come come be with me now. I know you didn't just fart on me, Chapel. Get off me. God dang. God. Not the Chaweenie farts. God. Blech. Oh, I passed the mailboxes. Sorry. Oh, my God. I mean, anyone would. <laughs> he just farted on me. Oh, you said, I mean, anyone would. He robbed a bank and then disappeared. Yeah. Hubby, dead, damn. Don't be single. <laughs> You're so hot. <laughs> That's funny. Um, This is, oh, oh. <gasps> Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Oh, oh, Let's oh. Let's crack this bad boy open. Open it, open it. Wait, opening other people's Shut mail? up. Shut up, mom. Know. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, come on. Shut up. I don't care I about that. Let's... I want to see... Shut your ass up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I'm reading this. Okay. Here we go. No oh, address. Oh, he ain't write nothing on the thing. Insufficient postage. Oh, next. Here it is. Yeah. Read it. Okay. Excuse me. 
to whom it may concern, I now confess my culpability for a spate of, bul- of burglaries, which resulted in the theft of almost one half of a million dollars. I had worked as a property inspector for Gein County for over 10 years as a poker game at a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few other targeted department stores, he and a few others de- targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection. Wait. Okay, so he wasn't the one that was actually up in there robbing places, right? He was the one who had blueprints and knowledge of said places. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, 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 wait, pause, pause, hold on, wait, shut up. He said, (sighs) sorry, hold on, I might have just freaked out for nothing, but I had worked as a property inspector for Gein County for over 10 years. Who else was a property inspector for Gein County? Grandpa Leo! What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Tin was right! Tin, you were right! Tin was right. I was just like, you said, what if he moved back and changed his name? Tin, you were right. Wow. It was, what? Okay, okay, so let's, let's, wow. So, oh my God. So when they said he died of a heart attack, He didn't really die. He left to start a new life with them. With the money he stole. And so he never died of a heart attack. Grandma lied to the kids. Oh, wow. This whole time I'm just like, Oh, he died of a heart attack. She killed him. She murdered him. She murdered him. He never died. The grandpa was the one who did the crime and f- and he fleed so quickly that everyone said, oh, he just died of a heart attack. Wow. And maybe they were angry and fighting all the time because of money, which brought him to go ahead and do the illegal activity because he was tired of having money issues. Wow! This is, this is wild. This is so good. That's why he was chucking plates. They were fighting because she found out he was selling security blueprints for money. Wow! You are smart. Wow! Okay, okay, let's... Wow! That just clicked. Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's reread this, right? Okay. I'm gonna start back at the top. I had worked as a property inspector for Gein County for over 10 years. At a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade 
detection from the store's security. As time went on, the stores they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no way to back out of the arrangement as they had threatened not only my safety, but that of my families as well. Seeing no other option, I falsified a death certificate with papers I lifted from the county office. I left my wife and daughters to cross the border under an assumed name, giving them instructions to follow me. They never did, and I wish that I cross. I regret having asked them to. What little of my stolen profits remain, I have destroyed. My wife, Helen, knew nothing of my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no other choice. She is innocent. My decision to involve myself in this series of crimes was mine alone. I ask only that you leave my wife and daughters alone. This is my confession. Leonard! Lambros. Oh. That's wild. Okay. Y'all gassing it up and I'm about to kick y'all out this room. <laughs> Actually, matter of fact, hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. In my defense, I watch an insane amount of UK detective shows. You ate that up. You ate that up, Tin. Good job. Good job. Oh my goodness. I need to watch the, the VOD before this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this it's it's a wild ride. Oh, you got the twist of it though. Well, we still have some more to go. So let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. Wow. Hey, mom. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Right, right. Uh, I... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. At all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> wow. So my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here on, on this dock, dock waiting for you. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. Dang. It kind of did happen, though, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, he was gone. It kind of did happen, though, didn't it? As far as you knew, it did. You lived with that your whole life. Yeah. So, so to you, it did. <sighs> I can't believe it. I can't <laughs> Don't believe laugh. he just he was done a abandoned us. All this time, he was here. Wow. He gave up his family, his children, for an old boat and some booze. That wasn't the I reason why he had to. to. Just one more time. He and had... my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't I can't even imagine. 
Wow. I just wish I could have talked to her about it. While she was alive. Yeah, she said, I'm, just... I'm just taking that to the grave. Wish you could have been there for her. Wish she could have trusted you. Wish she didn't turn out this way. Um, I don't Wish know. She didn't turn out this way. Yeah. If we could have just. She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. She had no choice, bro. Why the mob was gonna anything? come after y'all. Even when we were all grown up. Maybe. Maybe she was trying to protect you. I'm pretty sure that's yeah. exactly what it was. Maybe. <laughs> August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. No, you weren't. I just wish we would have talked. Girl, you were about to hop on the back of somebody's motorcycle so and live it? in another town. He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, if he's got honestly, a history of I, alcohol and I honestly drugs, don't probably care. not. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. Oh my god! I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad... <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. Really? I mean... Girl. Well, it wasn't quite Girl, like that. Girl, I shut guess. up! Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm so tired. I'm freezing out I'm so tired, girl. Yeah, me too. Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. Imagine... And for pushing me. Hold on. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. Lying being but... genetic. But I am so lucky to have such an incredible, kind, oh, mom. <laughs> Beautiful, and she's annoying hard too. Hardworking. They're both annoying. Stop! Stop! You make me cry. Girl, shut up! I'm done. I'm <laughs> I love done. You, mom. Okay. I love you too, honey. Oh, this hug is nice, though. Jeez! Wow! Wow. Okay, let's 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 take a second cuz wow. What did y'all say? Um Oh, okay. You said I mean, how can you go back to living life with a father after that? You kind of can't. Yeah, she lived most of her life. She's probably in her like mid 40s now or early 40s. So uh, you have to think a mother's love goes beyond everything. Right, that's true. Uh, in the end, he made the decision that was best for his wife and kids, but he only had to make that decision because he royally messed up and it led to that, which is selfish and stupid. I feel like he probably died alone or unalived himself after Helen said she wasn't coming back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's what I'm, I, I don't, I don't think he's still walking this earth. I think he, he drowned himself in alcohol the only way that he could. What is that? Hold on, let me pause. Because I feel like the game is still going as, I don't think that was popping up a second ago. Um, she's a mom. Her instinct was to protect you. Right. Exactly. No fingers, no fingernails is a sign of a lying hoe. And <laughs> guess what mom don't got? This is the final chapter? <gasps> okay. Uh, let's click on some stuff. That's the receipt. You don't need that. What is pick up directions? We already saw that. Put that down. Um, 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 um. Yeah, we just have to talk to mom. Hey, mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. Please? So you asked about what happened with me and Dad. Okay, uh -huh. truth. Well, your dad, you know, 
was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems, our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing, and then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. Oh, she made it seem like he was wasting his money away. That man might actually be a really good poker player. That's kind of cool. Right. It's certainly um, not her interesting. Hating. Yeah, his I bag. mean, That's crazy. I guess he's following his dreams. Right. He might not make it, but he is going for it. Right? Mm, That's me. Yeah. Me and content. I, mean, I guess I never really thought about going it in for that it. kind of light. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream and he had to follow it. Followed I get it. it. That's right, scary, dude. Right, my little web entrepreneur. It's like Matt Damon in Rounders. It's not really like Rounders. I mean, he wins a lot in Rounders and he's a lot more handsome. He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then mm -hmm. your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married said we could make it work but by that time hey. it was already over yeah exactly i realized that this this was a pattern that would never really end do you blame me for ending it no i get it you needed his support and he just ran away kind of forced your hand yeah yikes kind of that sucks mom but I, I do see these him. hearts going in the chat. I'm sorry for <laughs> buying the tickets. Oh. Right, I, I forgot about that. You first. <laughs> I guess I thought, I don't know, that dad, like, explained everything to me in a way that made sense and that he was living some great life out there. No, you, you shouldn't apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I, I guess I was embarrassed. Mm. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Not a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. Just go. I think you should go. Right. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. Now, what if they made you a second spend game? spend some time with them. I think it'd be good for both of you. Uh, are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. Aw, <laughs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. Okay, but can we that, go get my phone? And that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Yay. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Aww. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I web don't always stuff. know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> Should have just left it the way it was. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. Yikes. <laughs> oh, come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, 
I guess, <laughs> I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford like grandma and me. It's silly, but, but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Hi, Mike. You got no notification. You know, I'm telling you, I'd be telling Twitter, I'd tell Discord. I gotta start posting on Instagram more. I, I, I forget to do that. Like, uh, wait, God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do, like seeing Kurt, like doing Kurt. Like doing Kurt? <laughs> I'm gonna let that double entendre pass right by me. But yeah, it's hard to let go, to see you as an adult, to not just my baby girl. Mom. You were so cute back then. Even cuter than now. Wow. Stop. And you had the biggest head. Oh. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Oh. Bowling ball head. The bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep. And it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect tiny little heads. Like golf balls. What is mm -hmm. happening? So... What do you think about the whole August Crying. thing? Moving in with her? Yeah. I guess it's a big decision, <laughs> moving to Chicago. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, that's putting it mildly. <laughs> Would you want to move in with her? Seems like a good choice. It seems like a good choice. Even if it's just for a while, at least we'd have a place to stay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah! Are you worried about the theater? Or my school? These days, I'm worried about everything, but I'm confident, too. <laughs> confident we can figure it out. Yeah. We've been through so much this last year. You've been through so right. much. I just, I have to have faith that we'll continue to make things work. Yeah, me too. This is wild, y'all. I will say, August's house is pretty nice. Her bathtub is the size of my bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it'll be worth it for the bathtub alone. Wow. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey, August. Guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. Wow. <laughs> can we at least see what August looks like? I want to see August. And whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Oh. They've never Me showed too. this point of view. This little square little. All right, y'all. That was the end. Open roads. Me and my French Canadian bitch. <laughs> Hey, completed the game. I enjoyed this. Dang, I missed the lob. Sorry, Mike. Yeah. Wow. It was a good game. Great game. I overall I I would if you didn't watch the whole thing, I would recommend it. Right? I'd recommend it. If you just watched me play it, I wouldn't recommend it. Mainly, mainly because if you sat here and watched all the details, one, the twist was just... Wait. Was developed over many years by many hands. All the people be below played a crucial part in its development. Oh. Well, there was like a big twist, and we all just watched, you know? We watched, and we all know what the twist is now. But if you don't know what the twist is, if you came in at the very end... Get the game. Play it. Um, every Anna Purina game that I've played, I've always enjoyed. So, um, yeah. Overall, not bad. The 2D artist, the 3D artist. Really good. Really good. One more clap. One more clap. Okay. Now, what's this rhythm game you wanted to play? Because it's still early. If it's... Okay, hold on. How do I get out of here? Enough! Do I... Oh, I can just hold it to exit. Yeah. Nice. All right. Out of here. 
close this up. The other game I wanted to play, where is it? Oh, where is it? Go back to my library. Headbangers. This one, this game is kind of hard. This game is kind of hard. Um, and it's also got a lot of levels, so I'm not going to play it today, but we will be playing it very soon. I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all the, let me see. Will it come through? Oh, y'all can't see it or you can't hear it. Hey, one second. Let's see where you at. Do the mixer. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Damn, you can't. Either way, it's super cute and it's fun and it's got all these different things, these different beats. It gets harder and harder. Like this game is actually pretty hard. <laughs> it's so much going on here. I know y'all can't really hear it, but I kinda wanna play it now, but let me see what time is it. It's 7.44. I can't sit here at this computer all day. I can't. Okay, okay. I'm not going to play it today. I'm not going to play it today. I'm not. I'm not. But we'll come back to it. I will put it on the schedule for next week. Because this week... You know what? Let me pull up my schedule. Now. The... One second, one second. Yeah, okay. Okay, go back here. Okay, look. I wish there was more time in the day. All right, so right here, we ended up playing Open Roads again today. And then tomorrow, this is a collab effort. So I'll be playing Content Warning also over here on YouTube. And that's going to be with Kobakashi. It's going to be with uh, Rini. And it's going to be with Kay. And I think Tomo, Mika, and I think Craig or Kesa are playing um, tomorrow as well. So tomorrow all day is, is just content warning it's just content warning <laughs> um and then on saturday right saturday i'm going to be starting to stream at four that's going to be over on twitch we're going to be a part of two different things so i'm in a tekken tournament so i'm excited for that that'll be my first tekken tournament that starts at five and then I was invited to play party animals with um, Ice and the rest of the um, Twitch Black Guild at seven, eight, I think. So I'll be hopping into that. I think I might turn around and maybe do something on Sunday. Nope, I can't do Sunday because Sunday is uh, Bubby and I's Bubby Day. I'm going to eat that up. Thanks. <laughs> um, and then what else? And then Monday is my mom's birthday. So I'm trying to keep these days jam packed. What are we saying? Uh, did you look into the other exit eight type game I put into discord? Wait, wait, wait. Cause I think you and Craig suggested the same thing. Hold on. Okay. 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 Uh, Midnight Monitor. When I turned around about that game. Did I not buy that game? Why did I not buy that game? Why did I not buy that game? It was, it's, it's cheap too. Okay, I, I'm gonna go buy it. I'm gonna go buy it. Um, you sure I didn't buy it? I did not buy it. That's wild. Okay, so I gotta go do that. Um, and then... We also have Shinkansen Zero, which is by, what, who is it by? Chilla's Art. I love Chilla's Art. Chilla's Art, that team, I don't know if they've expanded their team, but um, it's always been like 
two brothers, right? And they do an amazing job when it comes to spooky Japanese horror. So, um, bought that game. Gonna be playing that next week. And then, what else? We have Shinkansen. We have Headbangers. We have Midnight. What is it called? Midnight Monitor. And then Craig was telling me about a different game. Hold on. Game news. Game news. It's called Platform 8. And it's made by the same people who did um, Exit 8. So, yeah, that one's coming out soon. They don't have an exact date for that yet. But, yeah. And then, also, I'm going to be playing um, Hotel... No, I'm sorry. Hospital 666 again, but we're doing that one on hard mode. Let's also not forget that I still owe y'all stuff from the tipathon from last time. I'm going to be playing um, uh, Devour on Nightmare Mode. Because y'all helped me get to DreamCon, so I owe you that too. I got so much stuff. So the next um, week or so, I'm going to be doing mainly YouTube stuff with like maybe one or two days of, of Twitch stuff. Because we got a lot of games to catch up on, a lot of stuff to do. And I'm trying to organize where I want to put in certain games at. So Tekken is Twitch related, except when I'm posting um, ranked up stuff. I'm just so excited because this is such a great time to be a streamer. There's so many games. Can't wait to play them for y'all. Uh, what else? There was something else I wanted to play. I cannot remember. It's in here somewhere. Um, uh, streamer court, but I still need to get like a costume for that. That's going to be a whole skit. I'm doing that on, uh, I want to do that on Twitch. And then <laughs> I still want to finish playing a dip, uh, difficult game about climbing. God, that one pisses me off. I don't want, I don't know if I'm going to actually get to that. I might actually, you know what? I might boot up class of 09 and play that in discord. <laughs> I might go ahead and do that. Let me walk the dogs, get settled in. And I think I'm going to just hop in there and, and boot that up. But yeah, y'all. We finished. We finished Open Roads. It was a great game. Fantastic. I definitely liked it. The twist was insane. If you have not watched um, it from beginning to end, please go ahead and do it. You said, I want to see it so bad. Right. Like, I'm really curious to see what this game is. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. So what time is it now? It is about to be 8 o'clock. So I guess I'm not doing anything right now. So 9 o'clock, I'll boot it up in Discord just to see what it's like and then I'll probably call it a night you can't wait to tell Arthur about it yeah all right y'all uh that's all I got make sure that you twerked um on the like button if you did not ew um and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time I know this was such a short one this always happens whenever I bust out a new indie game I always make the first one super long and the next video is a little bit shorter. But either way, thank you for putting your eyeballs on the screen. And I will see y'all tomorrow for content warning. Okay, bye.